We all know that the universe is a big place, but just how big? Well, thanks to James Webb's telescope, we're starting to get a better idea. This behemoth of a machine has already made some incredible discoveries and it's only just getting started. From exoplanets to black holes, the James Webb Space Telescope is giving us a whole new view of the universe. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will talk about the new discoveries of James Webb's telescope. The high-tech camera has captured stunning images of Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system, which is a little closer to home. Even scientists were in awe at Webb's composite images of the gas giant due to their incredible quality. Inc. de Pater, a planetary astronomer from the University of California, Berkeley, who co-led the Jupiter Observation Project, said in a statement, We hadn't really anticipated it to be this excellent, to be honest. The two new photographs of Jupiter were released recently by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. They were both taken by the telescope's near-infrared camera, which can see through space dust to reveal features that the human eye cannot see. The photos have to be created by mapping the infrared light data which the camera received from Jupiter, but the human eye cannot see into the visible spectrum. According to NASA, one of those scientists is Judy Schmidt, a native of California who has no official training in astronomy but fell in love with image processing 10 years ago. According to NASA, Jupiter's quick rotation makes it challenging to deal with near-infrared data from the planet. Schmidt and other picture processors were able to complete the task nevertheless with a few minor tweaks. One of the photos shows Jupiter all by itself, with distinct bands of pale pink, dark blue, and white around the massive planet with an approximate diameter of 87,000 miles. Shining auroras, clouds, and whirling hazes were all recorded by Webb. The Great Red Spot, which has been raging on Jupiter for more than a century and has the potential to consume Earth, is really white in the photograph. In the second image, Webb used a larger field of view to capture two of Jupiter's moons, Amalthea and Adrastea, as well as the planet's very faint dust rings. According to NASA, galaxies may be seen as fuzzy specks in the lower background photobombing the picture. Despite the fact that we do know a lot about Jupiter, the gas giant, which is the fifth planet from the Sun, still has a lot of unanswered questions. Currently, researchers are analyzing the Webb data and photographs in an effort to discover even more. At the same time, NASA's Juno mission is also keeping an eye on the planet. The next discovery from NASA's Webb telescope is that it has recorded a star nursery known as the Tarantula Nebula in sharp detail, revealing previously unknown characteristics that advance scientific knowledge. The area of space, officially known as 30 Doradus, has long been a favorite of astronomers who study star formation because of its dusty filaments that resemble the legs of a hairy spider. Thanks to Webb's high-resolution infrared detectors, thousands of newborn stars, distant background galaxies, and the precise structure of the nebula's gas and dust components could all be seen for the first time. Because light from far-off objects in the cosmos has been compressed into this wavelength during the history of the universe's expansion, Webb predominantly functions in the infrared spectrum. Near Infrared Camera, the telescope's main imager, discovered that radiation transported by stellar winds emerging from a cluster of massive young stars, which appear as pale blue spots, hollowed out the depression in the nebula's core. One young star was seen emitting a cloud of dust from around itself by Webb's Near Infrared Spectrograph, which examines light patterns to ascertain the composition of objects. The mid-infrared instrument, which utilizes longer infrared wavelengths to cut through dust grains that absorb or scatter shorter wavelengths, also captured images of the area. This revealed never-before-seen spots of light inside the stellar nursery, which signify protostars that are still developing mass. It also dimmed the hot stars and defined the colder areas. The Tarantula Nebula has attracted astronomical attention because of its chemical similarities to enormous star-forming areas seen a few billion years after the Big Bang, during the cosmic noon when star production peaked. Tarantula is a plainly observable example of this blooming phase of cosmic formation and is just 161,000 light-years distant. In order to comprehend similarities and contrasts, Webb should provide researchers the chance to see far-off galaxies from the real cosmic midday epoch and compare those views to tarantula images. The spiral galaxy M74's arms are the next discovery of the James Webb Telescope. M74, sometimes referred to as the Phantom Galaxy, is located in the constellation Pisces, around 32 million light-years from Earth. Hubble has seen this scene before. Huge clouds of hydrogen gas make up the stunning crimson blooms that cover M74. The ultraviolet light from the bright, young stars contained inside them causes them to shine. 
These areas, known as H2 regions by astronomers, identify the sites of recent star formation and serve as crucial targets for ground and space-based observatories. It even has a filter specifically designed to just pick up this particular red wavelength in light of Hubble's advanced camera for surveys, which gathered the data in this picture. The information used to create this picture came from a series of investigations looking at the development of a nearby spiral galaxy like M74. Insights regarding the past of star formation in these spiral galaxies are sought for by this investigation. Astronomers did this by dating the various components of spiral galaxies by studying star clusters, which allowed them to comprehend how the galaxies came to be over time. They also looked at how dust was distributed through spiral galaxies. The black threads wrapping around the spiral arms of M74 in this photograph are the dust. Astronomers investigated M74 to supplement data made with other telescopes in addition to their effort to comprehend the evolution of spiral galaxies. Astronomers get significantly more knowledge by combining views of the same object from several telescopes throughout the electromagnetic spectrum than they would from just one telescope. The powerful new NASA James Webb Telescope used M74 as one of its initial targets thanks to Hubble studies, which also opened the path for future equipment. The last discovery of this video is the cartwheel. The cartwheel and its partner galaxies are seen in a composite picture created by Webb's near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument, which brings out features that are hard to discern in the individual photos alone. About 400 million years ago, a fast collision led to the formation of this galaxy. Two rings, a vivid inner ring and a vibrant outer ring, make up the cartwheel. From the collision center, both rings spread outward like shock waves. Despite the hit, the huge spiral galaxy still retains a lot of its original characteristics, notably its revolving arms. The vivid red streaks observed between the inner and outer rings are the spokes that provided the cartwheel galaxy with its name. The cartwheel and its partner spiral galaxy in the upper left both exhibit these spectacular red colors, which are brought on by glowing, hydrocarbon-rich material. Near-cam data are tinted blue, orange, and yellow in this near- and mid-infrared composite picture, while MIRI data are colored red. Numerous distinct blue spots that indicate individual stars or pockets of star formation may be seen among the red dust whirls. The distinction between the younger star populations outside the core and the older star populations with thick dust within is likewise defined by near-cam. Webb's findings show the cartwheel in its most fleeting form. Given these two opposing forces, the final shape that the Cartwheel Galaxy will take is still a mystery. This image, however, gives context to what has occurred to the galaxy in the past and what it will likely do in the future. So there you have it, the incredible discoveries made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope. From distant galaxies to unborn stars, this amazing piece of technology has given us a glimpse of the universe like never before. And who knows what new mysteries it will uncover in the years to come! Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more great content.